Scorpio, how are you doing today? All right, the window is open, so there's a lot of craziness happening outside. It's very nice and warm, even though it's pretty cloudy, but it's still warm. And everyone is just out and about. And today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, by the way. A lot of people are just like, I don't, I don't know, is it a holiday or something? <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna get entwined with your energy just know that I did double this deck so if we have two same cards that comes out it's just that the angels want me to talk about it okay or to get further into that energy so we have separation here so clearly someone is going through separation um, I feel like well it says here time apart from your partner is on the horizon so just know if this hasn't happened yet just know that you, you guys know it's on the way because you feel it you just feel it you just don't know where you are in the connection you don't know where you know it's it, it's gonna where you're gonna be next week it's it's like that unsurety you know that four of swords you're worried you know this anxiety like things are about to change and you don't like the change all right express your love so um the angels are saying hey there's not this is not any time for just you know like keeping your emotions entwined to yourself you know playing that um that moon energy when <laughs> pisces it's time to go ahead and let this person know how you feel. At least you did what you could, right? This is what I'm hearing, okay? And then pay attention to the red flags, you guys, um, because I feel like there is, but we're going to get into that in the tarot more. Pay attention to the red flags. Again, it's coming in twice. Oh, wow. And these are 44 cards to all, you know, separately. So for that to come up twice, I mean... It is what it is. The angels want you to, you know, really just pay attention. Unacquired love, you guys. So someone is feeling like, you know what? Whatever is going on between us might not work, you know? Uh, might not be enough to to go where you guys want to go in life or what you had pictured for this relationship. One more. Ooh, nope, nope, that's too much. I'm also seeing let go of control issues so let's see if that's going to come out then it's going to be here but all right so let's see here romantic feelings is coming out so somebody has like these feelings for someone new or for this person and they want to explore <laughs> they want to explore someone else this is what i'm seeing here where's the tarot cards where's my tarot okay so let's see here scorpio bonus please what's the message here what's the message here all right so we have the high front well not the high front why was i thinking about that i feel like there's like there's a decision that's going to be made either codependent or independent but let's just see if it comes out then we have the hermit I feel like you're at a place where you're trying to make a decision on your own and you're trying to make the right one. This is what I'm seeing here. You're trying to make the right decision based on this relationship that might be just like coming to an end here, you know, because I'm seeing separation. I'm seeing unrequired love here as well. Okay. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay. The angels are like, okay, do everything you can now if this is something that you want to save, express your feelings. I'm seeing the strength card as well, letting you know that whatever you decide, because this is also coming back, it's not quite complete between you and this person's energy. Um, whatever you're running from, just know that you don't need to run because it's going to come back. This is what I'm hearing. See the high front. How interesting is that? Because <laughs> I was picking that up in the hermit, and here it is. Thank you, angels. So tell me more. One more, please. Okay, so we have this energy. Wow, the lovers in reverse, the seven of swords. And then you have the page of cups in reverse. So this person is very prideful. This is what I'm seeing, a very stubborn energy, Taurus energy showing up. We also have Gemini energy, Leo energy here, Virgo energy. We also have uh, Gemini again. We have Aquarius. We have Taurus again. You know, we have Leo energy again. So a lot of energies are being magnified here in this read. 
you know, a lot of pride, a lot of lies, a lot of betrayal that's coming to the surface. And it's, a lot of you already experienced this in your in your life, you know, where you experience the lies, you pretty, you experience the betrayal, but this is so public now. It's like everybody is like found out what's really going on here in this relationship. And you were trying to keep this hidden. This is what I feel, or trying to keep it to yourself, but you just couldn't. But I feel like a lot of you are just not done. You're just not done. This is what I'm feeling like. You're just not done. You don't want to walk away from this. You still have the strength card. You still know that this person is returning. You feel very incomplete, like you've missed a part of you. Like part of yourself is missing within this connection that you guys are not together anymore. This person is having a hard time with this separation. This is what I'm seeing in the Gemini energy here. You know, they're going to reach out. They're going to reach out. But what they're going to say is going to be interesting because there are so many things that they were hiding from you. And I felt like with this energy, with this page of cups, they don't want to even, you know, take responsibility of the situation, you know? Um, so let's see what else we have. We have Virgo energy. That I feel like you just need to step away from this relationship, not because you don't want it to work, but because you definitely need some time to think and to evaluate. Because this person could have made things very different if they just, you know, took responsibility of the situation, but I just feel like they waited way too long. Then you have the Six of Swords here, you have the Six of Wands in reverse. Wow, six, six on the clock. I feel like a lot of you, this person could have had a situation that got between you and them as well with the Three of Cups. But I just feel like with the Six of Swords, you were trying to like definitely move on with, you know, move on with your life. You know, this wasn't something that you wanted to do. Um, you just was like forced to do this or make this change on your part. And I just feel like with the Six of Wands here, you kind of realize that, okay, maybe you can't make a life with this this energy. But I'm getting like this old fashioned energy that's coming in. Like someone is definitely not codependent. Like I'm not getting that codependent energy. Ooh, look at you. Okay, so be very careful because this person wants a family, somebody that wants a family here, somebody that wants to uh, move forward. You're getting the Hyperons and then you have the Emperor, Empress here energy a create a creative energy someone that is quite could be pregnant or expecting or wants a family or expand um this person looks at you as someone that can have they can have a family with they look at you in in this good you know like in this you they have you in this good light they don't think about you in a negative way but you're looking at all the things that is wrong with this person this is what i'm seeing all the things that they have done you're running in fear you're making this decision on fear like you're scared oh my god you're scared that this energy is going to hurt you you know oh you're scared that this person is going to hurt you like you're not sure about the feelings you're not sure about how they feel you're not sure about this relationship what am i feeling is someone else too that you want to explore with this romantic feelings for someone else um, and not to say that you're not have no right to explore, but just do things right. This is what I'm seeing because karma is a very, very, there, the karmic energy is no one's friends and it, it applies to everyone. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I feel like you're going to communicate this to this person. Like you're, you want this change, you know, you, you feel like, um, this is so funny about this energy because I'm feeling like you want this change. There's still a lesson or a faded lesson that you're supposed to be learning from this person. And then you have this chariot, you know, this huge power of like determination of like the, what they need to do and what they want to do. Look at this. You have two different roles and this person is definitely choosing one. And they're just like, uh, they're on their way. They're on their way to you. You know, this is what I'm seeing here. So it's like they're going through so much when it comes to growth and I'm seeing like it might take a while because this person is like talking to them now it's like they're going to make their decision anyway so <laughs> there's nothing that you can do you know if you guys are dealing with a Leo just know that Leo and Taurus energy as well then you have Gemini here too you have a lot of like energy that hey I'm about my power I'm about myself and thank you for your advice but I'm gonna do what I want to do kind of vibe you know, so, hmm. all right, so here we go, let's see, yeah, there's going to be a new beginning here, this is what I'm seeing, this person is very motivated, 
I'm very motivated and very coming in. It's like I was worried about this chariot, but with this Ace of Wands next to it, it's like this person is coming in very, very quickly. And a lot of you could be dealing with someone that goes and comes, goes and comes in this devil energy as well. Very destructive person, self sabotage their own, you know, um, possibilities, relationships, and expect the person to come back and, you know, beg for them. They have this pride about them. I'm getting Capricorn, Taurus, or um, Capricorn, Taurus, or um, Virgo energy. Very stubborn energy when they're in reverse here, when they're like triggered, or when they're going through some kind of depression, um, addiction. I feel like this person might be looking at how well accomplished you are. Why am I seeing like they're acting like it's something on the outside, but on the inside they are broke or they're struggling or a lot of things that they have worked really hard for? Um, because I'm seeing like this secure abundance with this person's energy and then they're right next to the six of wands in reverse and I feel like this person it's really coming off as this cocky energy with this Pisces energy giving you empty promises or empty awards like they want you to sacrifice this is what I'm seeing here so I feel like this person might have a um might have a great job this is what I'm seeing here but it's like Everything that you thought about this person, something to do with this person, and the way they got this, it was not true. So, hmm. Let's see. Because you're looking at this person as someone that is kind of not on the same page as you are. And then they're not sacrificing any, any energy to make this work. This is what I'm seeing. So... Pisces energy here. Tell me more. Yeah, this person feels type way defeated. Two more, please. Okay. For the Scorpion bonus. Okay. Empty promises for sure. But it's something about this person that you're holding on to because. I don't know. It's just like this vibe of like, okay, a huge from a manipulator. I feel like this person is not a leader. This is what I'm getting here. They're not a leader. They're more be like a follower, but like at least they're coming off this way. But it's like they made this decision on their own when it comes to this relationship. <clears throat> it's like one day, it's like they just came up with this, like, I'm going to save my relationship. I feel like a lot of you are dealing with an uh, Aries energy that, or Aries Leo or Sag energy that is quite difficult. And they said a lot of things to you and I feel like they didn't come up with it. They didn't make it happen. And this is what you're looking at in the Six of Wands. Like you thought when you met this person, they came off very secure. And not that they're not, but you just feel like the things that they promised you we're just not what you thought. But you're looking for a new beginning. This is also something that I'm going to verify really quickly. Tell me about this, um, this fools, please. Okay, you're ending this relationship. So this is a no-go for you. A no-go for you. It's not going to work. This is what you're saying. You're ending this. You're walking away from this. You want a new beginning for yourself. Um, and this is something that you feel very excited about. You're not going to sacrifice anything else for this person. A lot of you are already, you know, in a relationship with this person. And the child is on the way. You don't have to be. But, you know, this person is looking like this is what they want from you. All right? Man or woman. Um, masculine or feminine energy. It doesn't even matter. But this is what I'm seeing for your bonus, you guys. Watch out for this energy. Let me just get the white deck in, you know, and see what we have here for Scorpio, please. What's the energy for Scorpio? What's the energy? Ooh, calling you soon. So this person is going to reach out. Like I said, I felt like there was some kind of like separation, but in the midst of things, this person is going to try to save their relationship with you and then also they're not sacrificing anything so they want you to do all the work take all the responsibility 
and you already know this, you're going to meet a Taurus very soon. This is what I'm hearing. Ooh, Hypheron confirmed here. Hypheron, Taurus energy, very stubborn energy, and then you're going to meet a Taurus. Wow. So this could be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus energy. I'm seeing a Capricorn here as well in the double energy. Why do you feel like this person thinks that you're not going anywhere? Like, you belong to them. That's what I'm picking up with this um, devil energy here. It's like this new beginning has to happen. Then you have the strength here. Again, you know, it's being clarified. Like, it needs to. So you guys can't run away from this. Like, even though if... if it, I mean, it's either you're going to get the clarity that you need to move forward because you're moving here with, with this energy of like, I'm not mad, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm very happy, I'm in a good place, I feel really good about this energy, and you're just making a decision to move forward. So I see that, like you're not at any kind of negative place. So I feel like a lot of you are going to, you know, take care of business or whatever you need to take, take care of. But you already know who this person is. Wow, Capricorn. You're getting a lot of Taurus, um, a lot of Earth tone energy is coming towards you. Gemini. So your energy is picking up a lot of different people. Scorpio. I feel like these people will be great for you. I mean, Geminis are great friends, okay? Unless this person have a lot of Earth tones in their chart, then you're good to go. Or a lot of water-based energy. All right, so what do you, even you, you know, Scorpio, you are a water sign, but you don't like, you know, someone crying in front of your face all the time. You just don't like it. So cancers, you know, you might not want to be with them, but, <laughs> but I'm seeing engagement here. So a lot of you could be moving into a new level of a relationship. This is what I'm seeing here, but pay attention to the red flags and unrequired love is also being here so a lot of you have seen a new relationship after this and that's when you're moving into a new environment so this person is like i'm a fire sign who is this person tell me more for scorpio bonus angel of marriage is near so a lot of you could be married to this energy too. And then there is like a lot of issues with this. This angel could be coming in to help this relationship um, blossom because you do have the high front here that talks about marriage. And you know, of course they're coming in to save their relationship high front came in twice. So this is what I'm having for you, Scorpio. I hope your bonus is, you know, um, giving you all the clarity that it, you needed. Um, and yeah, if you do resonate with this, remember to thumbs up, thumbs up the video here on the YT. Support your videos and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye guys.